congratulations on receiving a Lifetime Achievement Emmy. What's that feel like? Well, it feels great. Um, I, I was surprised. I didn't see it coming. Um, but I've said that uh, journalism is a calling and uh, I, I found my calling and it's a blessing to have others recognize it. Not bad for a kid from the little town of Jasper, Minnesota. Jim first answered the call of journalism as a radio TV major at Minnesota's St. Cloud State. I went to the college radio station when I was a, a junior and uh, asked if I could get some practical experience. And they said, the only thing we've got is uh, a color guy on the, the broadcast of the hockey team. I'd only seen a couple of hockey games before, but I said, what the heck, let's give it a try. <laughs> and uh, um, it was a great experience, because you know that's what, what journalism is, is you go out and you learn things, and then you tell people what you learn. Jim plunged into covering politics with his first job at WMT in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And I was there uh, in 1980, um, 79 and 80, during the build-up to the Iowa caucuses. Uh, and so I got lots of opportunities to cover politics. Um, I interviewed Ronald Reagan, I interviewed Jerry Brown, I covered Ted Kennedy. Jim's insightful political coverage led to a job at Wish TV in Indianapolis. There, he covered the State House and interviewed some of the biggest names in recent U.S. politics, like Barack Obama. You know, there haven't been too many states where the political establishment uh, was on my side. Uh, the first time I interviewed him, I was I was impressed. Obama uh, gave direct answers to the questions I asked. Trump, you talked to him before he was a politician. Along with uh, uh, then state Republican chairman Mike McDaniel had the opportunity to roast Donald Trump. Let me just close out here by explaining the haircut. It, it's simple, really. It's comb over. <laughs> Just, just look at it this way. This is how Dan Coates would look if he had a billion dollars. In politics, you deal with a lot of people who are, are very serious, um, sometimes too serious. <laughs> You've got to, to find a way uh, to teach people about what's going on in an enjoyable way. You, you have to bring humor to the game. <laughs> Life is serious, uh, but you don't have to take it seriously.